I have Nick. Daily Heva and Deep Daily Heva are a little bit different. Deep Daily Heva I think is more old school, and I think people used to use it more to control their opponent. <coughs> and it's a really good place to have a lot of control. So regular Daily Heva that we see today is shallow, meaning that my left hook is controlling one of Nick's legs. Okay, Deep Daily Heva, I'm controlling both of his legs. So to enter, like we just did in the drill, guys, it's so important that you use your collar to lift yourself up like you're doing a pull-up, and you use this foot like you're stepping on something to lift your hip. But you want to step on his knee so he's bearing your weight. You don't want to step on the floor. Initially, when you're first learning, it's fine to step on the floor. But when you progress, try to step on your opponent like this and throw your leg through. See how high my hip is? He's carrying all my weight on the collar. Who asked if I was putting weight on the collar? Yeah, bro. Nick can feel all my weight here. And then I come back. So guys, look. Here's what I'm going to do. My first sweep is super simple. I'm going to, I'm going to show you two variations of it. The first one, I trip. I'm going to extend my left leg as I pull the collar. I'm going to yank the collar down like this. Okay? There's two ways we can get up. One is a little bit more simple. One is more difficult. The first way, I'm going to undo my left leg and I'm going to shoot my right hook through. Like this. Okay? That's our first way. So again, I have the collar, I have the ankle, I lift my hip high, I get deep de la heva, I trip him, I undo my hook, and I shoot myself up. If his knee doesn't come in in front of me, that's fine. I can go to like three quarter mile. If this knee comes in, this cross collar is gonna be very important because I'm gonna keep my weight on this elbow to make him look this way. What does Nick naturally wanna do? Turn into me. As he turns into me, I use my hand to float into a knee cut position. From here, I can go for the cross collar choke, I can control the sleeve, and then I can go for my knee cut. So again, that sequence with the pass would be shallow de la heva, lift the hip, go deep, shrimp, come here, use this hook. If he doesn't do anything, I'll take my mount. If he brings his knee here, I push with my elbow. I put a lot of pressure on Nick, this hook is active. When he tries to turn into me, I come this way, I can dig my grip deeper, go for the cross choke, or I can control the sleeve, and I can just go for my knee cut. Does that make sense? The second way to get up, a little bit different, why we did the inversion drill. So I'm here, I have the collar, I go deep de la heva, I bring him down, and look guys, I'm gonna use the collar to pull myself to Nick. My head is gonna tuck under, so similar to the grip variation we did on the inversion drill, I'm gonna pull myself upside down, and I'm gonna do a back roll, guys, like this. Now I can get this reverse underhook and undo my leg. So you're just doing a back roll once you get into that position, guys. So again, I'm here, I lift, I'm here, I gotta yank this collar really hard to sweep him and trip this way. So my right foot goes this way, left foot goes this way, and my hand assists my left foot like this. I pull myself upside down, guys, really use that collar. Back roll, and I can establish here. I can take my leg out here, right? I can come in front and I can go to mount. And if I want to be super fancy, you can do a back roll and then take their back. So again, I'm here, I lift the hip, I'm here, trip, come through, roll, take my leg out. Or you can do a back roll and take their back. So guys, last time on both. First one. I get super deep, I come through to here, I trip, I use this hook, guys, in my left hand to come up. If he does nothing, I take him out. If he brings this leg in and he's pushing us, I go through to my knee cut. And then the second one, just invert and back roll. It's not as crazy as it seems. So I get to here, I trip, pull myself, and back roll. Does that make sense, guys? You got it? Three, two, one. This one also, like, initially when you first learn it, it looks a little intimidating, but it's super simple. It's a little dependent on your partner's reaction, so it's more specific of a movement. So look, I have collar and ankle. I lift and I get into deep de la heva. So again, I put my foot on his knee, I pull myself up with the collar, and I get into this position. Now, guys, from here, if you notice, I sat up. So try not to be flat, because I'm going to want to use some momentum when I do this. 
What my goal is going to ultimately be to elevate Nick so that he's resting primarily on my left leg. So what do I do? Typical jiu-jitsu, push-pull motion. Right? In jiu-jitsu, you can put your knuckles in their neck and kind of push them. He tries to come back in and I draw my knees to my chest. He posts his hand, potentially assuming that I'm trying an overhead throw. So look, I make a good grip on his pants. Do you guys see his knee here? This is the most important detail, guys. I'm going to pull his knee through like this. That's all I have to do and I have back exposure. Now I'm going to extend my legs, keep them tight as I sit up, and I'm going to pull the collar to me. This hand's going to hug the hip. So look, like this. Seatbelt. Hooks. So one more time, this, is, this was my favorite back take from blue to purple belt. So from here I have the deep de la Hiva, or shallow de la Hiva, pardon me. I switch to the deep, I get to here. I sit up and push him, he pushes back in, I drop my legs to my chest. Guys, he thinks I'm going overhead, I can't even fake it like I'm trying. Now I pull his knee, I'm gonna simultaneously sit up and pull the collar to me. Okay, and then hip escape and seatbelt. It's a super easy back take. And most people are genuinely concerned with going overhead. Nobody likes to get overhead swept, it's awful. So when you do it, you threaten it. And there is an overhead sweep there. If he's aware of the back take, you can just go overhead if he doesn't defend it. But most people, when you push, they're gonna post, boom. And then you can take the back. So a super simple technique, but it looks intimidating. The most important thing, one more time guys, that I wanna reiterate. Is this knee. So let's say I'm in deep delhi, but let's say I was here. I drew him in. Look guys, I have to pull this. I have to pull it through. See how as soon as I start to pull it through, his hip starts to fall? If he keeps his knee heavy here, I won't get the back take. So I have to lift, pull. Right? If his knee's heavy and he knows what he's doing, he's not gonna let us just pull it. So I'm gonna have to lift, pull, and then sit up and seat belt. A good guy's gonna keep that knee so heavy either trying to knee cut or just keeping like a hook on your hip so that you can't do that. So you're going to have to like extend him and then pull it. Does that make sense? All right, three, two, one.